In 2015, a group of archaeologists unearthed the remnants of an urban civilization dating back to 6th century BC. The excavation site was located on the banks of Vigai River, and it gave new insight into the ancient culture of Tamil people. Which brings us to this topic. Who are the Tamils? Tamils are usually referred as an ethno-linguistic group who trace their ancestry mainly to India's southern state of Tamil Nadu and regions of Sri Lanka. Even though Tamil Nadu is presently a state in India, Tamil more homeland of Tamils was more larger and was under many independent rulers for thousands of years. The early history of the people and rulers of Tamil Nadu is a topic in Tamil literary sources known as Sangam literature. This era known as Sangam period, lasted for about eight centuries. Ancient Tamil Nadu contained three monarchical states, headed by the Movender, the three crowned kings, the Cheris, Cholas, and Pandyas. The Cheras controlled the western part of Tamilkam, what is today western Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The Pandyas controlled the south, what is today southern Tamil Nadu. The Cholas had their base in the Kaveri Delta and controlled what is today northern Tamil Nadu. Although these dynasties were never conquered by outside powers, there were still significant diplomatic contacts between them and kingdoms to their north. They were mentioned on the pillars of Ashoka as the three friendly kingdoms. Meanwhile the Jaffna kingdom, inhabited by Sri Lankan Tamils, was once one of the strongest kingdoms of Sri Lanka and controlled much of the north of the island. Tamils were noted for their influence on regional trade throughout the Indian Ocean and had trade relations with Greek and Roman empires. Under these strong kingdoms, Tamil people built great temples, irrigation tanks, dams, and roads. And they played an important role in the transmission of Indian culture to Southeast Asia. The Kola, for example, were known for their naval power and they invaded and brought the Malay Kingdom of Sri Vijay under them in 1025. With time, the area west of the Western Ghats became increasingly politically distinct from the eastern parts ruled by Gola and Panja dynasties. Kerala was until 9th century, culturally and linguistically part of Tamil, with the local code on Tamil gradually evolved their language into Malayalam. Meanwhile the power of Kola kings, who dominated Tamil Nadu for over two centuries waned, and Panya kings had the upper hand for the next century. By the end of 1300, a power struggle within the royal family started, which later led to the decline of this empire. The fight for throne between two sons, after the death of their father, Mervarman Kuliskar Pandayan, led to a civil war within the kingdom. The elder brother Sundara Pandayan was defeated by his younger brother Virapandayan. Sundara Pandayan fled the country and sought help from the far-off northern ruler Sultan Alauddin Khilji, who was ruling much of northern India from Delhi. The invasions by Delhi Sultanate, shattered the Pandayan Empire beyond revival. Later the then Viceroy of Madurai, Jalaluddin Hasan Khan declared his independence from the Delhi Sultanate, and proclaimed his kingdom as Madurai Sultanate. But the Madurai Sultanate was destroyed by the rise of Vihayanagar, later followed by the Madurai Nayaks. By the early 18th century, the political scene in Tamil Nadu saw a major changeover and was under the control of many minor rulers aspiring to be independent. The British saw this as an opportunity and made their moves. By the beginning of the 19th century, the British firmly established governance over Tamil Nadu. They consolidated the Tamil territory in southern India into the Madras Presidency, which was integrated into British India. Similarly, the Tamil-speaking parts of Sri Lanka joined with the other regions of the island in 1802 to form the Ceylon colony. During the pre-independent era, the British recruited a lot of local Tamils and took them to their overseas colonies to work as laborers, petty administration officers, and in clerical and military duties. During that time, resentment against the British grew into many revolts. And many Tamil leaders made significant contribution to Indian independence movement. In 1947 India attained its independence from the British. After independence, the former Madras presidency was modified as today's Tamil Nadu. 
Meanwhile Ceylon gained independence in 1948 as Sri Lanka. But later witnessed a civil war within the country resulting in massive refugee crisis. Tamil culture is the last surviving classical civilization because they have preserved their beliefs, culture, and language intact for 2000 years. And Tamil language is one of the world's longest surviving classical languages, to which Tamils have a strong attachment, as it is central to the Tamil identity. This passion for their language and culture, is the one that binds the Tamil diaspora worldwide. Thank you.